What's going on everyone, this is Family Jewel 7 x and today I'm going to be teaching you how to play my arrangement of the Trainer Battle theme from Pokemon Gold and Silver. Welcome again to uh, probably actually the most difficult of uh, my uh, 10 video series on tutorials of the songs that uh, you guys chose. Uh, to have me uh, teach you guys how to play, give you backing tracks and tabs and everything so that you guys can play the covers that I'm arranging. In this video I'm going to be showing you some of the uh, some of the stuff that I'm doing in this arrangement, um, but also check the description for uh, the guitar profile, the backing track, and the tabs uh, so that you guys can learn it on your own too. From the looks of it, it looks like this is probably going to be my longest tutorial, so let's jump right into it. I'm going to show you guys uh, the tuning of um, the guitars. Now, uh, I do use my usual drop C for all the electric guitars, but uh, when I did this cover, I used a four-string bass. So uh, I'm actually in drop C on the bass too. So uh, the only way, to f the best way to figure that out is um, on the bass is pretty much the uh, the low four strings here. So you've got C, G, C, and F. Um, but for the electric guitars, uh, you've got C, G, C, F, A, and D. That sounds like this. Got that? Alright, let's go. So as I said, I think this is probably one of the most difficult that, uh, I, I mean, it's not as fast as, like, Battle of Little Slugger, um, but Battle of Little Slugger had, like, uh, a few condensed fast parts. This whole song is just a flurry, like, a fuck flurry of just notes, like, at 190 beats per minute. Um, and also, it's a little bit hard because it, uh, it does a lot of chromatics and stuff, so it's a little harder to wrap your head around. Um, so, at least for me, of course. Um, but, uh, some of the things to watch out for when I show you guys these leads is, um, uh, the, uh, the first guitar intro has a, um, a tapping riff that's very fast. When you're tapping up there, see if you can, um, kind of mute, uh, well, in this case, the A string, normally the B string, um, with your, with your index finger so that when you, when you, like, tap that, you're hitting a muted string and it's not making a... Because that sounds like shit, honestly. Or, of course, you can always tap the other way, like, tap, uh, down as opposed to up tap down like that that'll also I just don't prefer that um honestly because I'm not very good at it but uh that uh just kind of keep that in mind also notice that in that same riff um I I use a tap to hit the first note of the next measure simply because it allows me more time to get this hand back over here to finish out the riff um now the part b um uses some four finger chromatics um just four finger chromatic patterns um it's not too too difficult it's just very fast other than that uh, you'll notice a lot of these leads i'm doing way the fuck up here uh don't uh if you're in drop c um i would really uh uh i'd really uh say that maybe you should uh if you don't have 24 frets i would give up unless you want to transpose this for standard because we will be hitting this high e on the 24th fret <laughs> So just watch out for that, um, on, otherwise you want to bend uh, if you want to, uh, good luck. But uh, just notice that we're doing a lot of stuff up here, simply because I love the tone of um, fretting uh, solos, like way up here, uh, I just personally I do. The only place I really play down here is uh, the solo, which is the... That part. Uh, just because I like the twang of this area for that uh, for the only part in the song where there's only one guitar one lead guitar playing um, But everything else is up here kind of keeps a harmonic uh, uh, a, a consistent harmonic feel um, When using strings this high up, so that's why I do that uh, before you guys, you know yell at me like why don't you just play it down here? I like the sound of it up here. So fuck you uh, other than that um, Just really watch out for rhythms really slow these down make sure that you've got these uh, perfect um, and keep at it Honestly, there's a lot of notes going on. Just keep at it. Uh, try to figure out the patterns um, in your head to make it easier. Make sure that you've got your fingerings in a in a way that uh, it facilitates getting to the other frets, getting to the frets you need. Um, and uh, you guys will have this down. Trust me.
Now that that's all out of the way, um, the rest of the stuff that I want to show you in this video, there's not very much, um, especially not very much rhythm guitar at least, uh, simply because most of it's just all power chords, it's not nothing too hard, it's, it's mostly, um, you know, just kind of uh, outlining the uh, the bass part uh, in the original songs, what the rhythm guitar is doing. Um, I will show you two things. The only two things that the rhythm really gets uh, interesting, um, other than just open power chords and shit. Um, but the uh, the two sections with palm mutes, those are the two breaks in the uh, in the tab. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys how I play them. Uh, again, this is all absolutely optional stuff. Um, so uh, just uh, take a look at it and uh, give it a try if this is what you're doing. A lot of you guys have been asking me if uh, whether or not I'm going to be doing bass tutorials. Um, I mean, I guess sort of, but I think what you guys had in mind was if I'm going to teach some techniques on the bass. Um, not really. Uh, only I'll teach you some techniques that uh, are required to be able to play my arrangement of these songs. Um, in this song, there's a lot of slap bass going on, so uh, I guess I can show you kind of how I do it. I'm not, I'm not the best bass teacher, but okay. Um, so pretty much uh, a slap and pop is all about hitting the string with the side, uh, usually the knuckle of your thumb. Fucking kills in the beginning, but eventually, you know, you're able to... It's not bad. Um, but uh, the pop part of it is the ability to go... So what I'm doing right now is I'm on the A string and the G string. Um, is uh, I'll slap the A string and then I'll uh, use my index finger to get under the string and pop it like that. Just like keep it nice and like tight and then just pull it up. Make it sound like a fucking pop. And all it gets is you get a And you can kind of do that with octaves. It sounds pretty cool. Um, you know, it's all your funk, you know, funk bass bullshit. Um, but yeah, uh, some people ask me like, uh, What's uh? How do you get a better sound out of your slap and slap and pop stuff? Um, replace your strings. Do whatever you need to. Uh, just keep your strings nice and clean so you get a lot of good attack. Don't pull out too many of your uh, high mids and stuff out of your uh, tone to get those super super tight. You know, shit like that. Um, and that's pretty much all you have to know to sl slap and pop. I don't think there's a whole lot of stuff outside octave slaps and pops. Stuff like that out of this. So, okay, I'm gonna show you uh, the staccato section of the bass, then I'm gonna show you the counterpoint, and then the happy section. So, I think that, that should be good enough. And that's all you need to know to learn uh, the Johto Trainer Battle from uh, Pokemon Gold and Silver. I hope you guys have a lot of fun with it. Good luck learning it. Um, of course, uh, please check the description again 
for uh, the backing track. It's all in the zip file. The backing track, uh, the tabs, pretty much everything you need to uh, get started learning this. Um, I also wanted to say, uh, the way that I have the backing track set up is for uh, two guitarists. So if you and a buddy, a guitar buddy, want to get together and try to play this, please send me a video response and I will comment on it. I will give you guys critique and uh, quite honestly, I'm probably going to love it no matter what. So um, definitely uh, see if you can learn this with another buddy uh, and really have a lot of fun with it. There's a lot of notes. There, there really are a lot of notes going on, uh, but um, it's a really fun song. And once you get it down, it's a blast. So definitely have fun. Uh, I'll see you guys next week with another tutorial, uh, but for now, stay sexy.